Welcome to Future of Honor Friday. I'm Ian Riccoboni. Today, Clutch Adams takes on Cauliflower Chase Brown. Let's hear from them now. See, tonight, tonight, each and every one of you are in for a treat because tonight, yours truly, Clutch Adams makes his long-awaited Future of Honor debut. Now, some of you might wonder, hey, who is this Clutch Adams? <laughs> well, guess what? You're looking at him, baby. See, Clutch Adams is the hidden gem of professional wrestling. Clutch Adams is the man that tonight will beat down Cauliflower Brown. And Clutch Adams is the future <laughs> of honor. Cauliflower, Cauliflower, Cauliflower. Why? Why? Why do you call yourself Cauliflower? One, because it's delicious. Two, because Terry Funk, Terry Funk told me I should call myself Cauliflower because I got this here. And I earned that opportunity with Terry Funk by training in a sweat box with a raging bull. Before that, I trained with John Strickland, who was trained by Billy Wicks, who was trained by Henry Cullen, who was trained by Farmer Burns. And all that adds up to the fact that I can eat cauliflower and I can ride any man. Well, there you hear some words from Cauliflower Chase Brown, Clutch Adams. You know, as crazy as some of the things that Cauliflower was saying, they're all verified as true. I did some research and found out, wow! We're coming hot out of the gate, Clutch Adams now. Big forearms to the back. He runs the show. You know, I know he's one of the top talents on the East Coast, the youngest Monster Factory pro wrestling champion ever. As we see a big European uppercut, but Clutch Adams runs the show. Future of Honor Friday. Big matchup here. As Cauliflower showing some of the agility. Monkey flip through. Impressive pedigrees for both men. Hip toss takeover. We heard the rationale behind the nickname Cauliflower. He said it was delicious, that he earned the nickname from Terry Funk. Wow, Monkey Flip sends Clutch Adams right on his face and out of the outside. Probably not where he wants to be. Brown following to the outside now. Adams. Ooh, and there you go. You know, Clutch Adams is a very, very young man, but he's got tremendous ring awareness. He led Brown into a trap there, allowing him to get the momentum back. Ooh. To get the momentum back there. You know, he is a product of the world famous Monster Factory, prized pupil of Danny Cage. But he's turned his back on just about everybody, including the fans. As you see the confidence just oozing out of Clutch Adams as now Cauliflower Brown coming back to him. Big forearm, sends in another knife edge chop. Shades of his mentor, Terry Funk. And some of the things he learned from the Raging Bull, Manny Fernandez, charging in. Ooh, up and over. Watch the big right, now Cauliflower. You know, extensive amateur background, catch as catch can wrestler, Cauliflower Chase Brown. Also tremendous musician. I'm a Ring of Honor fans will know he comes to the ring with a guitar. Oh, Ace Crusher. What was Clutch Adams trying to do there? Was he? He could have been seriously hurt. It's one thing to win a match. But Clutch Adams, looks like this cauliflower thing has gotten under his skin. We mentioned Cauliflower being a tremendous musician. You can catch his music video on his Twitter, but no music being played here tonight. No guitar in sight. He better be careful because the only music he might be hearing is the fat lady singing soon as Clutch Adams lays in a boot. Hooking the leg, one, two. It's gonna take a little bit more than that. You know, we've seen Chase Brown before. We've seen Cauliflower in action against Donovan Dijak. We've seen him in tag team action in Ring of Honor. He is a tough customer. That amateur background. The lineage back to Farmer Burns, that is legitimate. Ooh. Spinning back elbow. And again, the presence of mind for Adams to use the ropes to keep his weight up too. And then just draping the weight onto Brown. One thing I will say about Adams 
Adams, though, is he has a tendency to let his eyes move off the prize. That youthful frustration does kick in sometimes as a man who's seen a number of Clutch Adams matches. Front face lock here. Ooh, blocked by Adams, those big legs. He's a guy who doesn't miss leg day. Snap suplex. There's that confidence again, just wasting milliseconds there. One, two. And he let Cauliflower Chase Brown use those hips to push through on that kick out again. I'm not saying he would have had him this early, but... Stay down! You know, I think Adams sometimes takes for granted his ability to change speeds, his, his explosiveness. He uses that as a crutch sometimes, as now Brown coming back with more of those knife edge chops. Yeah. Yeah. from the corner, no, just a little too deep, allows Adams to reverse. But now Adams catches Cauliflower Chase Brown, lung blower! Wow! And this has to be, it goes right for the cover this time. One, two. Good positioning, good move there by Adams. Had an opportunity to put him away and look for it. We see some of the stars of Ring of Honor looking on. I spot Ring of Honor six-man champion, Vinny Marcelli in the background. I see Cheeseburger looking on. This you know, future of honor so important to the stars of Ring of Honor. Of course, that's how Vinny got his start here in Ring of Honor. Cheeseburger has also competed in some of the matchups. What? Whoa! And there again, that confidence gives Chase Brown an opportunity, gives him an opening. Normally he doesn't go to the top here. I don't know what he's looking for. Setting Adams up for something. Whoa, the agility. Oh, but another missed opportunity. Brown dropped down. Sit out, missile drop kick. But I don't know who got the worst end of it. Brown clutching the neck. That was a do or die move. And I'm not sure if Brown did or died there. As Adams is the first back to his feet. That neck. Charging in the, ooh. Shoulder right to the cold steel. Here at the ROH Dojo. Brown with the advantage once again. Second row to the inside. Wow, staggers over the right. Saito suplex with the bridge. This could be at one, two. Ooh, just a two count. And I think one area that both of these men are equally versed in is endurance. Make no mistake about it, Clutch, one of the most finely tuned athletes Monster Factory has ever produced. And of course, Colorado Chase Brown. Wow, deadlift, fisherman suplex, two. Just a two count. Ref may have slowed down a bit there. But that's not bothering Adams as he looks perhaps a double wrist lock. Adams writhing in pain. He's in the center of the ring. This could be it. No place to go using those strong legs though to get back to a vertical base. Spins through, connects with a right. May have caught him in the ear, disrupting the equilibrium. Back suplex though, countered by Adams. Spins through, big spinning forearm to the back of the head. Uh oh. Oh, what is Adams trying to do? Power bomb to the outside! Hitting the post to clutch Adams! Again, showing no regard for the health or well being of Chase Brown doing anything to try and win this Future of Honor match. Oh, connects! Rolls through! Savak kick right to the jaw! This has to be a cover one, two, whoa! Two and seven eights, the Gorillas looking on there in disbelief. I don't know how Chase Brown kicked out either. Adams now, rolling up toward the corner. He doesn't normally go to the top. Fatigue setting in, making his way up to the top. Don't know what he could be looking for here. 450, but caught, wow! Chase Brown caught him. He's got him at a double wrist lock again. Clutch Adams taps. 
your winner here in the ROH Dojo this Future of Honor Friday bout, Cauliflower Chase Brown. And what a match it was. Two tremendous athletes who've been making waves on the East Coast. And tonight, your winner, Chase Brown. And the submission was the difference here tonight at the ROH Dojo. Join us next week on Future of Honor Friday when we see the incomparable Sunny Kiss going up against the elite athlete Mike Orlando. For Future of Honor Friday, this is Ian Riccoboni. We'll see you next time.